Hello everybody, my name is Matt and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last episode we beat up Bowser and completed Diodaria Docks. In this episode, we're not going there. We're going to Total Mountain, which is right here. I'm not doing these things in order. <laughs> so, this level is... I mean... This is... Fuck, this is, this is a level. Basically, you just have to get to the top of the mountain. So I'm gonna do it normally, and then I'm gonna show you the fast way to fucking do it. You have to long jump there, otherwise you get beaned. Don't fall off there, like I almost just did. Fuck those guys. Oh, what the hell? There are a lot of invisible walls around this log, so be careful. If you decide to take the log, I can show you a, I don't know, quicker way. But that's like the best way up there. You can also go the other way around there. You have to long jump here. Uh, obviously not at that angle. All right, I can now actually go down this way. It's much safer. And, uh, very busy. <laughs> Alright, now I can show off the actual long jump. You just kind of hold back a bit. The mountain isn't actually that big, it's just, it's just tall, you know? Um, I think you can just, yeah, you can just long jump directly there. And we made it to the top! Tall Tall Mountain is really quick. Like, extremely fucking quick. Especially when you're just trying to scale the mountain. Now I can show you the cool ways to get up there, because we actually need to go back up there. Because this one has a monkey. You, there's a life there, but if you triple jump, there's some wind here, which actually just takes you directly to the, the where, like, the log is. So, it's really easy. And then you can just jump onto this guy. And then fly this way. You can use. You, uh, I can actually. Let me get up there first, and I'll. Uh, I'll explain. Oh, okay. I'm being messaged. Or something. You know. I should have turned my phone on vibrate. I'm being wanted by the police. They don't know I'm recording. Well, they should. Anyway, we're almost at the top again, and of course I fall off. <laughs> I'm too, I'm too busy. I'm, I'm too focused in not Mario. But these are the, these are the levels that you don't really play that often. This is the actual way you're supposed to do this. You're just supposed to walk around it. But that's the star we're supposed to be getting, the, the monkey cage. And what do you know? There's a monkey there. If you try and grab him, he, uh, he jumps over you, but you just kind of gotta fucking turn around. Anyway, just free him, and you gotta follow him. So just, like, watch him, kind of. You know? Relatively simple. Me and the bro, me and the homie. Me and homie. He says ee hee hee, and then he jumps to the cage, spins it, and drops it down. So we follow him. Here we go. Total Mountain has always given me pain. You know, I've always hated it. Like, it's been one of those one of those stages that will easily kill you. Anyway, this is scary shrooms and red coins. The red coins really easy in this um, oh yeah and I can sh show you the two-way warp that's right there as well so so there, there are four red coins on these mushrooms which I mean they're really rel relatively easy but if you go to this mushroom here there's actually a hidden warp that teleports you underneath where we were before I don't strong gusts but the wind makes a comfy ride so if you go down all the way over here, this is actually where the cannon is. I'm not... Sh I'm th this is where the cannon is. And you use the cannon to go get that star. 
That is risky as fuck. So we're not gonna do that. Um, but I will show you where to find the, uh... Why can't I... There we go. Uh, I will show you where to find the bubum buddy. Even though I don't really know right now myself. But this is a two-way warp. So you can just stand back in this corner. And you get teleported back to the mushrooms. Just be careful not to fall off. Alright, and the, the last four red coins are actually right here. Like, there's one there. Like, th this is like a scalable area. So you just have to play it safe. Because right behind us is a, is a pit. It's relatively easy to do with side flips. And this part, you can just wall jump. And the star appears. If you want to be cool like me, you can just jump off. Uh, don't almost die like I did. That was pretty scary. That, I think that's really the only way to get to that uh, cannon. I'm not sure. I'm, I'd have to check that. But, uh, Mysterious Mountainside. I'm gonna just quickly double check that. Is that... Wait a minute. I'm gonna get 100 coins. That's what I'm doing. This is the 100 coins mission for me. Because we just got the red coins. I do want to find that, uh, Babom buddy. Um. Pretty sure you, it, it's relatively lenient with the amount of coins here. But, again, I'm not certain. You have to double check that. But this star is actually really easy to get. Like, legitimately one of the easiest stars to get. The uh, Mysterious Mountainside. Uh, and I can show you why once I uh, finish this. Yeah, there's literally no way to get there apart from maybe jumping here. Which is kind of odd, if you think about it. Like, that, that star is locked behind a warp. But not really, because you can get it without the warp. As I'll demonstrate once I get all the 100 coins and go over to that star. Uh, we're gonna get these red coins. Uh, not red coins, normal coins. And then we're gonna drop back down. I don't know if we've actually experienced Chuckyas before, which are these purple things. I don't think we have. But you can, it's basically like King Babon where you can just grab them from behind and throw them. They will they can also throw you, so just be careful. There is a monkey here, they will grab your hat. So be careful. Oh there he is! I knew, I, I knew I was looking down there for a reason. But there's the pink bob on buddy. So they'll just, they'll just give you that. They'll give you that cannon. Um, if you want to know how to get back up there, you can use the speed kick technique. Oh, you're joking. I don't care about that guy. He can go screw himself. I'll need him later, but right now I don't need him at all. We're just getting as many coins as I possibly can. Because I don't know how many are in this next part. Oh, you're kidding. Extra life. Bonus. These guys don't drop any coins, otherwise this would be really easy. Three Goombas. Why is that guy all the way over there? That makes no sense. That's where the log is, by the way. And that, uh, that guy. Because you can see the monkey down there. There is a life there. But the mysterious mountain side actually relates to this wall here. As you can see, it vibrates like a painting. But we're not actually going to go in there just yet. Because I need to get the rest of these coins. And you may be wondering, what's so fucking special about that area down there? What, what's so special about a secret area in the, in the side of a fucking mountain. Well, I'm trying to get coins so that I can show you. <laughs> I 
As you can see, that's uh, easy to get now with the switch. But you don't really need it. Alright. So I've showed off the... Oh my god. Alright, now we can go... We can, now we can actually go over there. In the, in the area that I want to show. Whoop. It's a fucking slide! But apparently... I don't think a lot of people know this. I don't know if it's this one. Yeah, you touch these four corners, you just get a... There's a one-up that spawns. I don't think a lot of people know about that one-up. I sure as hell didn't. There are actually two coins right there. Oh, one coin and a one-up. I'm getting so many one-ups. But anyway, this is the slide. I'm going to get as many coins as I can on this slide because I don't know how many I need. Get back here, you blue coin. Alright, if you're wondering how to get fucking stars on slides, just jump and hold backwards, and also, like, do a kick in the air. That'll get you so far back. And there's the 100 coins. I am probably gonna be sliding on my belly. Yep. This is bad, because I need to go that way. I'm sliding backwards! Okay. But I got the 100 coin star, which is fine. I was hoping that I'd be able to get away with that. But you just get put back into the slide. Um, sorry, I was busy. Um, but luckily you can kind of just get this life over and over again and you'll be fine. And there are so many lives on this slide as well, you know? But you can basically just avoid everything here. I have- I got three lives on this slide alone. But honestly, this slide is like one of the easier ones. I mean, there's only this one left, I believe. There's no there's no more slides in this game after this one. But it's really long. You just just make sure you don't go down the path marked with the skull at the at the beginning and you should be fine. Cuz bam. We get a star. And yes, this is Tall Tall Mountain. It's outside and you probably from that one up, you may be able to guess where that is. So we're going to hop back in there and I'm going to show you the easiest way to get it. Breathtaking view from bridge. Well, I know where that is. Tulltul Mountain is like one of the easiest. But this is actually where the mysterious mountainside is. If you turn your camera a bit, there's the hole. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to get it. Boom, I'm in. You can see I it, you just speed you just do like a kick in midair and go backwards. Honestly, it's the easiest. Anyway, the next... Uh, wh why am I going this way? The, it's breathtaking view from bridge. Which means it's a, it's at... It's where that star is in like the... In, in the mountain that we need to get to. I burnt my ass. I burnt my ass. I burnt my ass. So it's just making our way over there now. Oh my god, these guys have... They, I swear these balls have fucking tracking. Anyway, there's a star up there. So we need to get that. You may be wondering, how the hell are you supposed to get that? Well, I kind of showed you before with this little... With this box. You can press that. And a box will actually spawn for you to jump to. But you can also just jump directly in there. Like, it's not that hard to get directly in here. But there, breathtaking view from bridge. And we've got one more. And if you've probably been wondering how I'm supposed to get that star on the mushroom all the way out there. Because it's Blast to the Lonely Mushroom. The mushroom is over there. And you need the cannon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I kind of hope I will. But... Cool people can do a trick where um, you can bounce off that wall with that box and it will be like parallel directly to the, to the mushroom. Um, I'm not going to do that. I thought I would tr just try and like demonstrate it, but I'm, I do not know 
anything about that trick apart from the fact that you can do it. I don't know the lineup or anything. So we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, get back over here. Why are you throwing fire at me? We're going to use this guy. He's going to do a dive, jump off him, and just float over to there. This is how a lot of people did it, because they had no idea how to get to the fucking cannon. Uh, of course I miss, because I'm stupid. Whee. If you hold A, you actually go faster. I, I love how I'm just giving kind of just tips while I'm dying over and over again on a level that I've... Honestly, I really shouldn't be dying on. Like, this is actually one of the easiest stars to do in this in this level. Because you don't need to climb any mountains or anything. And... Bam. So, that's all I need to show you in Tall Tall Mountain. Next is, uh, which one? Wet Dry World. Oh boy. That's always fun. So this is this one. It's fun. This is an interesting level and a l full of a lot of cool mechanics. Um, shocking arrow lifts, eh? So this level is all about the switching of water levels. These little prisms... Uh, determine what level the water is at. Oh, come on, you moved. So, it's relatively easy. But, there, this, the, that box over there has a star. And what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to get on these. And, ouch. And take them all the way over here. Or you can just, you know, long jump. Completely voiding that challenge altogether. I'm surprised they didn't catch that in like QA testing, <laughs> play testing, any sort of testing, you know. Um, but also, this is cool, right? You can actually determine what level, what water level, the stage starts at if you jump into the painting at a certain level. So you can... Look at this. It's really easy. This is like literally the highest level that this uh, that this stage can have. And you can't even get it anywhere else apart from getting the tallest bit of... getting Jumping in at the tallest part. So you just kind of casually walk past that. And there's a star right here. These levels, honestly, they're really small. But they have a lot of uh, depth to them, if that makes sense. Anyway, we get top of the town. Uh, I'm gonna jump in at close. Oh, at pro wasn't as close as I wanted. Um, I will have to hit this uh, water level adjuster over here just to get it close to the bottom, because there is a secret warp that I can show you. You see these three pillars right here? There's a warp there. And it takes us where the cannon is. Even though you may not know where the... Oh, there he is. I don't know if you can get there from where we are now, no. Ow. Anyway, we're doing secrets. So they're actually... Uh, I guess I'll be doing... 100 coins as well with the amount of coins I'm getting from these boxes. Um, but there are actually five secrets in this place that are actually really well hidden. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't... I don't know why this is here. I really don't know why this is here. There's no point. But you push this box, you get one secret. You push that box, there's another secret. You know, they're, they're really close together. You push this box... There's a secret. Um, over here, these guys drop like three coins. Blue coin switch. They're just around here. I don't think you need to avoid anything. 
Skeeter there. I think that's their name. Yeah, I think they're called Skeeters. Anyway, this is like a really easy area because you can just like jump off those walls and you can do it again. That's a really tall wall that normally you're not supposed to. Anyway, fourth secret. Uh, I'm going to activate this box. Uh, and there's the fifth secret. All of these, all of these boxes have uh, ten coins in them, I believe. So I actually have a lot of coins right now. That one doesn't, but I kind of knew that already. In order to get up here, all right, this is cool, right? You can side flip and just get up there. If you don't make it, you can sometimes hold backwards and you can get it. But honestly, the, these levels are really easy. Like, I'm going to get 99 coins just from this guy. Like, I just I just throw this guy and I get 99 coins because Chuck has dropped 5 coins. Oh no! I fell. This isn't what I wanted at all. I wanted to be cool. Like, this 100 coin mission is like one of the easiest to do with secrets because you just get so many coins. I can't believe I fell. Anyway, there's like... Hmm. Ow. Am I stupid? Am I missing a coin? Oh wait, yeah. That's what I was missing. I was gonna say, I know there are more coins than this. They're over on that. So I need to... I need to make my way over here. Because there are actually coins in this box over here. As well. There's way more than this many coins. I was wondering, like, where are my coins at? <laughs> but there's the 100 coin star. For some reason, Mario's looking down there. And the secrets star is right there. We're just getting them in quick succession, really. Um, so we're gonna go get the uh, the bob on buddy. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, we're actually gonna do Express Elevator. Because I didn't do it right. We're gonna go hit that. We're gonna break open this box. So that allows us to get in there. Because, if you weren't aware, um, I, I didn't get that, of course I didn't. Oh my god, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn. Why can't I... There we go. Oh my god, you know what, fuck that. I'll just get up normally. Alright, so now that we're at the top, we can just go directly over to this area. And you may have noticed that there's actually a star in this little cage area, which we've just opened. And we can just step on this, and it goes all the way down. We kind of want to get off it before it hits the bottom. Because it will go back up. Cool people can wall jump. But I don't trust myself to be able to wall jump all the way up. And be able to get in this like little space to get the star. It's really bad. Alright, so, these next ones pr pretty much require you to go all, all the way at the top. I recommend trying to get that, because then we are spawned directly here. Is the bob on buddy even here? Yes, okay, so I'm going to quickly go get this bob on buddy and open the cannon to show you the actual way you're supposed to get into this area. Hello, bob on buddy. So you may be thinking, hey, this is a, this, we haven't seen any red coins around here. Where are the red coins at? Well, we haven't gone down this little area down there. Like, this is a relatively small area until you go down there. <laughs> Why am I being messaged on Discord? Alright, so what you need to do is you need to go all the way over there. And obviously, you know, get in there. 
Because that's how you do it without this level of water. But if you have this high level of water, you can literally just jump over it. Speedrunners use that. You can use that. Really simple trick. But now that we have gotten over that little gate, we can swim through this tunnel. Which you have never seen before in your life. And then suddenly the stage gets really fucking bigger as there's a whole fucking town down here. Like how crazy. Um, but then you have to find, because you're, you are underwater until you figure this out. The, where this thing is, the, the water level. Because you need to drop the water level, otherwise you're going to fucking drown to death. And I believe it's right underneath where the pipe is. Yeah. So, look for the pipe. Go under the pipe. But, as, the, as it suggested, we're looking for red coins. So the red coins are pretty much on all of the roofs. So just use your wall jumps to get on, like, every roof ever. Because they're inside these boxes. Hello? There we go. There's one here, if, you know, I can punch the box. Ooh. Alright, and this one's probably one of the hardest to get. But it really isn't. Uh, if you do this right. Hey, a fish appeared! Alright, so this isn't how you get up. I... Oh, it's over here, that's right. You can actually just wall jump off these walls. They, those are wall jumpable walls. It feels odd. Some people don't know that. But then you just make your way back over to this place. I completely mis disorientated myself. And boom! Easy star. And now we gotta go back in there. Because there's one, I think one last star that you need to get. So do the high water level jump. And it's a quick race through downtown. So I'm just gonna jump in like normal. Really should just fall in. But this is honestly a really cool place. Oh, come on. Alright, so... What the hell is that noise? What are they doing over there? They're having a party. Alright, so you may be wondering... Quick race downtown, what does that mean? Well, you see that little caged area over there? There's a star up there. And you see here? That's a Vanish Cab. You gotta race through. I bet you didn't know this. You can just jump through this with a Vanish Cab. A lot of people don't actually know that. But as you can see, I'm, I'm here. Within record time. I'm gonna get it with the Vanish Cab. A lot of people don't do that. Because they don't know you can just pass through those walls. I think it's really cool. I didn't even know you could pass through those walls. But we've done all of Wet Dry World, so in the next episode I will show you Tiny Huge Island. And, you know, subscribe I guess. <laughs>